those highlights down, that looks really quite nice. I think that's looking good in there. Let's get a little extra saturation, not a whole lot, but I'll bring a little bit more color into this. All right, good. And the background here is too bright. There's, I don't know if it was sun that was hitting it or if it's just because it's all white rice or something back there, but that's really, yeah, no, not so cool. So I want to bring that down. And this is that thing that we looked at before, which uh, I find is just an amazing, amazing thing that we have on this tool. The ability to add effectively uh, brushing in layers or gradient layers as part of the raw decode. So I'm going to go to the overlays and down here you've got three options or so delete. You can brush it in or you can do a gradient. So I tap on the gradient one. And this is cool up here. This is uh, what type of gradient do you want? Linear, elliptical, or radial. So we're going with linear and I'm just going to pull down. And remember when you first do it, you see the mask. That's all you see until you go over back to your adjustment and you start adjusting it. That's what stays on screen. So let's take the exposure down a little bit. Maybe the highlights down a little bit more. I want to bring the whole thing down. Yeah, just the brighter areas. That looks pretty good. I could even try brightness. I don't know if I want to bring... Yeah, nah. Let's leave it like that. Okay. So that's looking good. It's a little bit flat still, but uh, but that's okay. I want to add curves later. In fact, we have curves in here. I didn't look for that. Enhanced white balance, shadows, highlights, profiles. No, so we don't have curves in here. Oh, no, there it is. We do have curves in here. Um, but that's okay. I want to do that later. I'm going to do that later on. So this is my raw decode. We're going to stick with that. I hit develop and it's processing a little progress bar up there. Okay, done quick. And now I've got my basic image. So again, if we look at it over here, we'll see we have not blown any highlights out and we are clipping shadows because I made it a little bit darker. But this is what I wanted to show you uh, show you earlier was if I go to, or I was mentioning earlier, I should say, if I go to, let me get rid of this history thing, free up some space in here. Double click, by the way, double click on these, it'll collapse that. Um, let's see, I don't want brightness and contrast. I want, I don't want black and white. I want, I want exposure. There it is. Bring up the exposure. And as I, I'm going to raise the exposure, let me bring this up here so your eyes are on the same place. And we can zoom into this a little bit as well, just to really make this nice and easy to see. As I adjust the exposure here, watch this area here that looks like it's clipped. I mean, it is clipped, but it looks like it could be um, peaked. It, okay, let me rephrase that. It is peaking. It looks like it could be clipped, clipped meaning that the data is gone. But if I bring the exposure up, and this doesn't adjust in real time as you're driving this, which is kind of weird because it did in the raw. But if I bring this up high enough, I think, well, all right, we've got, huh, well, that's kind of weird. Let me, let me zoom back out of this. We are definitely not clipping anything here. Hmm. I'm going to say that that rendering is not totally accurate because there clearly is nothing black in this scene, and yet it shows something clipping off of there. Well, that was kind of weird. But what I really want to show is as I bring up the exposure, we are still pulling up detail from this background area here. So uh, that's where I want to go back and I have to talk to the manufacturer about how that the difference is between the two. Now, I know from my personal work, I like to go pretty contrasty and this is a bit flat for me. So I'm going to go into curves, open this guy up. Let's get rid of this exposure adjustment. We'll just delete that one. Got my curves adjustment here. And it's quite interesting how any one of these you create, it opens up a new window, a new floating window. You can position wherever you like. And we can do the work that we want to do. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I did actually want to do something in levels. I forgot about that. Let me go back to my levels. I had a plan. Got to stick to it. There we go. There's my levels. I want to look at my clipping, um, white level here. And you can see that I'm, I'm not maximizing my brightness here. I could definitely be brighter on the overall scene, assuming that I want something to be approaching near white, which I do. So I'm just going to bring that clipping level down. And as long as I bring it right to the base on there, it brightens up the image a little bit, doesn't clip any data. If I go too far, then we're going to start clipping stuff. But I don't want to go there. We'll just go right about to there. And we are not clipped. I'm kind of convinced that something's wrong there because that really doesn't seem like that should be like that. This, by the way, this little guy, if you hover over it, it just tells you that it's not rendered completely. Course histogram, click to regenerate, find histogram, you click on that and it regenerates the histogram. Um, I, every time I've clicked it, I haven't really seen a difference. So I'm not sure that it really matters that much. Okay, so I brought my brightness uh, in line there and I'm going to leave that in. And now I want to add my curves. Where's curves? Here we go. So we add curves to this. Again, it adds a new curves adjustment. Everything's done on an adjustment layer. And I just happen to like quite contrasty images, so I'm going to pull my shadows down. And I could pull the highlights up, but pretty quickly it's going to get back to being overexposed in the background there, which I don't want. So I think I'm just going to pin the highlights there, maybe let them up a tiny bit, but really focus on bringing that, that contrast, bring those black areas down, bring those shadows. I want those shadows to go nice and crunchy in there. All right, cool. So that's looking good. So now we've got a... You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash members. <laughs>